Hey everybody, welcome to my latest installment of my new YouTube series, Spirituality, Enchantments, Rituals, and Jewels, a modern Wiccan guide to the divine circle casting. That's our theme for today. I will be teaching you guys how to cast a circle. And uh, basically, that's honestly one of the most important things. You have to know how to cast a circle before you can do any ritual, honestly. So, it's important. <laughs> All right, so the basics of circle casting. You want your wand or your athane, a lighter, carry these with you. And then you want to put um, a candle in the south for fire and some water in the east um, for water. And then I usually put a crystal, um, a white crystal or a light crystal in the north for air. And in the west, I kind of have a multicolored crystal right now. Um, this one, but I felt it was the best one I have for Earth right now, so I actually have a crystal at each of the four points. It's important to remember um, or carry a compass to check which area is north, which is south, which is east, which is west. You want to clearly mark each of your points in some way, um, some way preferably that coincides with the element for that side and you want to memorize which elements are for which. Um, and air is for north, water is for east, south is fire, west is earth. You want to remember these things and anything you need for the spell or ritual you're going to cast, you just want to put it in the middle of your circle along with a candle and you want to light your candles at your altar. Mine are actually already lit. I was just doing an actual ritual before filming this video. So I just kept those on and just I'm redoing the circle. So uh, here we go. You want to call on your deities and on each of your elements. You start with either spirit or your deities and then end with whichever of the two you didn't start with. And then do all your elements in between in whichever order feels right to you. I know some Wiccans like to start in the east, but it really honestly doesn't matter. I like to start in the south because I feel a great connection to fire. So, to start your circle, I call on the element of spirit Aid me in my circle. So mode it be. And then you want to light your candle in the center. And then you move on to the elements. I call on the element of fire from the south to aid me in my circle. So mode it be. And as you're doing this, you want to point your wand or your thing at each of the corners as you're invoking them. And uh, picture a light coming through you, whichever light you feel and whichever color resonates with you, coming through you, up and through your wand, pointing out in that direction where you're pointing and slowly connecting them to make a circle. I call on the element of earth from the west to aid me in my circle, so mote it be. I call on the element of air from the north to aid me in my circle, so mote it be. I call upon the element of water from the east to aid me in my circle, so mote it be. And I call upon all my deities, God, the moon goddess, the angels, the archangels, spirit, and my deceased loved ones to aid me in my circle, so mote it be. Now you can call on any deities that you want, um, whichever deities you follow, if you do, 
it's up to you, and that's when you light the candles on your altar if you haven't already, or I'm going to light a second candle in the center here. You can do that as well, but you do always want to make sure that your candles, your male and female energy candles on your altar and your deity candle are lit when you are doing anything. I will be explaining that further when I do my altars video soon. Now, when you're done your entire ritual and you are finished with everything you need to do, the last thing you need to do is it's very important to close the circle. It's very similar to opening the circle. You basically do it in reverse and you thank each of the elements and your deities. So, I thank the element of spirit for aiding me in my circle. I now close this circle. So mode it be. And then you blow out your first center candle or your center candle if you only have one. I thank the element of fire from the south for aiding me in my circle. I now close this circle, so mode it be. And you want to blow out your fire candle. Hold on. I thank the element of earth from the west for aiding me in my circle. I now close this circle, so mode it be. I thank the element of air from the north for aiding me in my circle. I now close this circle, so mode it be. I thank the element of water from the east for aiding me in my circle. I now close this circle, so mode it be. And I thank all my deities, God, the angels, the archangels, the moon goddess, spirit, and my deceased loved ones for aiding me in my circle. I now close this circle, so mode it be. So it shall be done. Thank you. And that's when you blow out your final candle or candles at your altar. Actually, it looks like mine have burnt out, so I guess it saves me from having to do that. The only candles you don't blow out are if you've done a spell or ritual that requires your candles to stay where they are and keep burning until they burn out, leave those. Just blow out the candles at your altar and in your circle, and then you're done and you can put everything away. It's important though to uh, memorize each direction and what it corresponds with so that you don't have to look it up in your book of shadows every time you try to cast a circle because you're gonna be casting a lot of circles and closing a lot of circles. So aside from that, it's basically pretty simple. I really hope you all enjoyed my story. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks, have a wonderful day, and blessed be everybody.